Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Okay. Now, our next speaker needs very, very little introduction, if at all. You know that Congressman Patrick Kennedy is on all of our shortlists as really the rock star of our world. Because of his tireless work in helping pass parity legislation, tens of millions of people will get the help that they need that they couldn't get before. And he is, yes. And he is counting on all of us to make sure that parity, as it was intended, gets implemented. So we're going to do that. Um, but because of his willingness to publicly share his own struggle, countless of Americans suffering in silence now have a voice and feel free to speak up. Because of his commitment to the men and women of the military, he really has embraced mental health first aid, was with us last week when we rolled out the military version, and he just blew the house down. So he's done an amazing amount for all of us. He also, as you all know, is committed to brain research in finding cures for neurological and psychiatric diseases of the brain as part of the organization he co-founded one mind for research. So he's also charting a course for the future. Please join me in welcoming my hero, Patrick Kennedy. Thank you very much, Linda. Um, I'm kind of like that hair club for men founder. I don't know if you ever saw the ads. Uh, he comes on, he said, not only am I the founder of hair club for men, I'm also a client. <laughs> and so not only am I the sponsor of the Mental Health Parity and Addiction Equity Act, but I'm also a consumer of mental health and addiction services. <clears throat> and I. Uh, it, it, it frankly took me leaving Washington, D.C. Uh, to get the longest period of uninterrupted. And those of you who are also my fellows in recovery understand what I mean. We can often get periods of time, but we can never keep them. Um, what I have today is the longest uh, period of uninterrupted sobriety, uh, three years and three months. And, and the biggest beneficiaries of that are not only me, but my three children and beautiful wife. So part of recovery for me is the fact that I have a supportive uh, family and a community. And that's what the goal should be all about. Now the answer is, how do we get there in terms of supporting people in recovery? And as you know, when we wrote the parity law, the concept behind it is just treat these illnesses, fund the services for these illnesses, the way, same way you would fund services for any other chronic illness. And so National Council, and Linda and all of you, were so helpful in us getting the 2008 Mental Health Parity and Addiction Equity Act. Then you came back and made sure that we had it embedded in the Affordable Care Act. Then you came back and we made sure that it was uh, codified through a final rule that the administration proposed. But frankly speaking, we're only at the beginning of the process. We're only at the beginning of the process. <clears throat> so I look forward to working with National Council and all of you to redefine health care so that we actually treat health and not sick care. That we incentivize not only the primary care and the collaborative care, but the human services, social services, vocational services, housing services that are so crucial to people being able to live and prosper in their lives. And I believe we can do it. I believe if we take the money that we're wasting on prisons and corrections and law enforcement. We can take those dollars 
and we can start putting them to work, keeping people out of prison, keeping people out of emergency rooms, keeping people out of having to go back, as I did, a dozen times to inpatient acute care because there was no case management paid for by the insurance companies. <laughs> so what parity means to me, if we're going to save lives, we better pay for the services that are going to be essential to keeping people in recovery. And that means we have to go after the insurance companies who would impose non-quantitative treatment limits, fail-first models of care, and all kinds of restrictive treatment limitations, because they're killing our fellow Americans. Every day they deny treatment when that treatment could save a life and bring someone back from the brink. So I need your help. When you lobby on Capitol Hill, talk about mental health first aid. Talk about what National Council is doing. And most of all, don't forget that even though we passed the parity law, we still need to both implement it and enforce it, which means we need your help out there to make sure it's done right. Thank you very much, and thank you for coming to National Council.